What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, I'm going to start off and say I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I found out today that I have strep throat. Good time, so it feels like i swallowing shards of broken glass every time I try and take a drink of something. And uh, what's worst off about it is that I have to kind of quarantine myself from the family. Which means, you know, when my son gets home from school, he's going to want full-on daddy time, and I'm going to have to try and keep him a little bit of a distance because I don't want him to get it. So that kind of sucks. I'm uh, really ho whoops, wrong button. Really hoping I can uh, get past it soon, obviously. Get well, hello. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> Glad you didn't do too much damage. Alright, uh, for starters, I'm just kind of coming up here and checking out to see my little area here. And see all my uh, bamboo has grown up quite nicely. And um, I did do like you guys suggested and put some um, half blocks all the way around on the water so I can walk on it. I did that a couple episodes ago, but I just never showed you guys that. So anyway, um, the other thing I was going to mention is that I had an announcement. In case you don't follow me on Twitter, which you really should. I mean, seriously. No, I'm just kidding. If you want to, um, I always put the link to my Twitter page. <laughs> Holy crap. That wasn't cool. Aw, oh, he messed up my little water thing. That is not cool. Not cool at all. Ugh. I'm glad he didn't kill me. I mean, that would have been even less cool. Uh, anyway, as I said, you know, I put my link to Twitter page and my Facebook page. I always put in the video description, so... If you're on either of those and you wish to follow me, then, you know, it'd be greatly appreciated. And kind of give you some updates about when I put out a new vi a video and, you know, stuff like that. But, um, if you don't follow me on Twitter and you didn't happen to see my announcement, um, from two days ago, I ha wanted to go ahead and fill you guys in on it then. I have been accepted as a Yaosh Alliance partner and director. Um, in case you don't know what Yaosh is, it's a community of gamers, and uh, and kind of I hate to compare it to Machinima because it's really not, but um, it's kind of just I don't know. I could use it as comparison just to kind of give you an idea. It's kind of like Machinima, but without all the the BS that goes with it and all the you know the issues that thing has. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. It's really cool that they you know asked me to be there, and as I said, I'm part of the Alliance team. So what that means is that I'll be able to post a video once a week, once every other week on their channel and, you know, gain some additional exposure or whatever. And it's just kind of cool. So you might see, you know, every once in a while in the video, you might see something like this right here. Poof. Little Yaosh water mark. I'm not going to put that on too many videos on my own channel just because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to scare off my uh, loyal subscribers. But I, I wanted to let you guys know what that means for my actual channel. It um, nothing's actually going to change as far as the videos that I do. Um, you're not gonna. I'm not going to stop posting videos. I'm not going to stop making Minecraft videos. Nothing on my channel is going to change except for I'll have a banner on my front page, or whatever that just says Yaosh Director. So that's pretty cool. I'm. Uh, if you don't know what Yaosh is, you know, I, I think it's worthy of checking out. You know, whether you agree or not, obviously it's your own opinion. But I'll put a link to the Yash Alliance page and the Yash website itself. And, um, you know, go check it out. It's a good group of guys, and it's a it's a small startup kind of thing. So there's not a whole lot of people there to have to deal with right now. And it's just kind of nice. So I'm using this video just kind of as I'm just kind of checking on some things and wandering around. I'm using it just to kind of tell you guys about that. And, you know, I'm excited about it. I'm very happy that it's an opportunity. Um, you know, I, for the longest time, I thought it would have been cool to be a part of Machinima, but, um, you know, since I don't do a huge selection of Call of Duty videos doing trick shotting and stuff, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Ooh, mushroom farm is working nice. And somebody mentioned, it was like, what's the point of doing a mushroom farm when you can just use bread or pork chops? Um, because it's a tad bit more of a challenge, I guess, and because I've never done it. Um, I've been playing Minecraft for over a year now, and tomorrow, this Thursday the 8th, is slated to be the official release of 1.8. <clears throat> this is going to be the adventure update. So what that means is, you know, while I'm doing these videos, I'll actually be able to go out and I'll get to find some Endermen and, 
just really explore and see what I can come up with. Pardon me if you happen to hear the doorbell in the background. Uh, my mother-in-law swung by with the house real quick to drop off a little Halloween present she had found for my son. Since I'm home today sick, um, you know, she's just going to leave it as a surprise, but, um, you know, since I'm here, she went ahead and gave it to me, so I apologize for the doorbell. But anyway, as I said, you know, Adventure Update's coming out tomorrow, and uh, something else is going along with that with the uh, the Yoush channel, is since I'm going to try and do about a video a week for that, um, what I think I'm going to do is it's going to be kind of like this, it's going to be a brand new Let's Play series, but it's going to be in the Adventure Update, so... You know, I'm not uh, I'm not begging anybody to come over and check it out, or you know, saying you have to come follow me over there, you have to subscribe to Yoush. That's that's not it at all. If it's something you want to do and you want to follow me over there and see additional videos and stuff, then that's really cool, and you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But do not by any means feel that you have to. Um, you know, I'd love it if you guys came over and checked it out once I get my first video up, which I'm working on now. And um, it'd be kind of cool, but I am going to use the 1.8 update as kind of the, the launch pad for doing it. Kind of check out my uh, spawn trap thing going on here. Seems to be working still. And uh, yeah, I, uh, several people have told me that I should like put a torch in here, whatever, just to keep mobs from spawning in. And, and uh, they probably could. They could probably spawn in next to me, but so far so good. I haven't run into any problems with it, so I'm going to not worry about it yet. Kind of watch them dance around. So anyway, I'm really excited about the 1.8 update coming out tomorrow, or at least the schedule to come out tomorrow. If tomorrow shows up and it's not here, you know, please don't crucify me. It was just going by a rumor that I'd heard. Well, not really a rumor. It was slated by Notch and Mojang that um, that's when it was going to come out. So hopefully it will. And yes, I'm not doing a whole lot this video. There's really not much action going on into it. Well, hello. Now how did that happen? That's a tiny little pool of water for you squid to be bouncing around in. That's kind of creepy looking, actually. That is. Just, I'm going to leave you guys there. you just be my pet squid. That is... <laughs> that's kind of crazy. I don't know why they would spawn there. They're bigger than the pond they're floating in, but... Oh, well. So, anyway, this is going to be a, a little bit of a shorter video. This is more or less just kind of a... I wanted to give you guys a heads up and kind of tell you what's been going on and you know that I'm very excited for where I'm going with it next um somebody was telling me I need to put a hatch there I agree do I have any wood with me no okay let's just go get one I'll go make a hatch and we'll walk back over here and put it over here while we're talking so anyway um I don't know just this weekend hey do I have a do I have a bone I do have a bone. Hey, Wolf, come here. I'm going to see if, see if I'm going to replace Lynx with you. Come here. Hey, come here. Stop jumping. Yay. Come on, buddy. I'm glad it only took two bones to get him because I only had two. I hate to have to go find some more. Are you coming? Good boy. I guess I'll need to uh, come up with a name with him. I'm gonna leave that guy, leave that to you guys. Okay, without getting extremely vulgar, and you know, childish or nonsensical. What do you think I should name my newfound dog? You know, I got White Fang over here, and I had Lynx. So, what do you think I should name him? I want to know. Tell me. And then on the next video, I'll do the big grand reveal. Cause I know you guys are just wanting, waiting for that. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been a little while. Oops. Yep. Trap door. Yay me. Oh, and once again, I I don't know why, but I've been getting a lot of comments on it lately on the videos. Yes, I do know you can hold shift and click to get your items to go back to your inventory faster or back and forth between there, but I don't want to. <laughs> or as my son would say, I can't want to. That just cracks me up when he says that. And uh, I will be doing some project pretty soon where I'm trying to lay down the track for this here and going the other direction. I have all these little mini projects I'm wanting to do for this, but I just, I don't know, just hadn't done them. I guess because I have so many that I'm just trying to actually do them all. So, you know, bear with me. We'll get to them eventually. Jump. Up we go. Okay. Hatch. Oh, yeah, I gotta have a, gotta have a block here. Do I have any more sandstone on me? No. 
Huh, I guess I'll just put a piece of wood there. I mean, dirt. There we go. Now I have a hatch. If I had thought about it far enough in advance, I would have just tried to build the hatch so it came out right there, and this built-in wall would have already been there, but I didn't. Poor planning on my part. So anyway, um, like I said, I know there wasn't a whole lot going on in this video, and it wasn't the most exciting thing ever, but, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, I was going to mention something, um, I don't know what it is, I don't know if I've, uh, pissed off one particular person recently, but, I mean, if you look back through the collection of videos I have there, I really don't have that many thumbs down on my videos, unless it just happens to be either a Call of Duty video or a video that I stay, say stuff that people don't agree with, which I understand that one. But lately, even my videos where I'm not doing anything controversial, I've been having like one thumbs down on every video. So I don't know if I pissed off one person and they find it comical to go through and rate down every single one of my videos. So I've got like one thumbs down, maybe two on every one of them. Um, I do not in any form or fashion think that I don't deserve thumbs down on my videos. That's not it at all. But, you know, my only thing is, if you're going to thumbs down a video, and if you're going to, you know, ruin the, uh, I don't know, the the flow of having all positive on the video, at least leave a comment as to why. I mean, if you don't like the video, tell me why. I'm not going to get offended, but it's, it's nice to know why. That's kind of like getting a failing grade and not knowing why. At least that's kind of an opinion I have. So anyway, this isn't a long video. I'll try to make a longer one next time, but I just really don't feel that good. Like I said, so I apologize. But, uh, you know, definitely go check out the Yoush stuff if you're interested. And um, thank you guys so much for your time again. And I will talk to you later.